Hey, what's up, guys? BSG Trek Fan 88 here. It is uh, still September 20th, 2012. It's 11 o'clock exactly as I'm recording this. Uh, hopefully, you have seen my sunset video, which I posted a little earlier this evening. Uh, first sunset I've done in a while. Um, I'm going to take this opportunity here and say that pretty much summer's over for 2012. Um, and recollecting on it, it was my first summer as a letter carrier in the United States Postal Service. Um, yes, lisp there. I actually do has a, have a lisp, believe it or not. I just hide it very well. I've always had one. Um, but in every single video I've done, and when talking, I try and hide it. But when I drink, it comes out, so whatever. Um, this past summer on Cape Cod, and I know that you know, those of you that live in the city or in out west in the U.S., it was very hot for you guys. And I appreciate and respect that and say, you know, kapla to you. But here on the Cape, having every single day in July and August being at least 80 degrees or higher, that's warm for us. Um, especially being a letter carrier because we're in the... LLV, Long Life Vehicle, uh, developed by Grumman, um, which even with both windows open and a door open, there's very little to no ventilation. It, it's weird. I don't know why it does it. But anyway, uh, it was a long summer. Um, you know, I went to Martha's Vineyard. I had some good um, Saturday nights. <coughs> <coughs> Saturday nights with friends. Um, but summer's over. Um, but I, I'm going to take this opportunity real quick to talk about, um, well, the summer. You know, Jaws. Jaws Fest came back to Martha's Vineyard. Um, it was also released on Blu-ray this year. Um, Jaws, to me, is the ultimate epitome, epiphany, whatever you want to call it, of a summer movie. You know, immediately, when you think of a movie to watch during the summer, in my opinion, it's Jaws. And I guess I'm kind of biased toward that, because I grew up and still live on Cape Cod, technically. I live in Plymouth, which is right over the bridge, but until recently, I lived on the Cape. Um, I worked in Falmouth, which is literally a stone's throw away from Woods Hole, which, you know, Woods Hole, Martha's Vineyard, where they filmed it. Um... So, for me, Jaws, it, I, I've said this before in my Jaws overview review video, uh, it's not only a summer blockbuster to me, it's not only a film, it's something that I can visit anytime I want. And for a major blockbuster or a movie in general, that's not something that I can say about your average film. Again, being filmed on a sound set or a sound studio or stage, you know, Jaws is one of the biggest blockbusters, but not even that. One of the one of the most popular, well-known, influential movies of all time. And if I want to, I can spend 50 bucks or so and go and visit, I'll say, 70% of the filming locations. I mean, name, you, name another movie that you can do that with right now. Like, my favorite movie is Terminator 2 Judgment Day. And if I flew to Los Angeles right now, to scope out all the filming locations, which is actually a lot harder than it looks, I've actually tried to look this up, I could probably find maybe 50% of them. The rest have all gone, or been replaced, or just unknown, but uh, Jaws, that's not the case, as you can clearly watch in my Jaws Fest video that I produced and uploaded a few weeks ago. Um, so. As the summer comes to a close, and autumn and fall and Halloween is upon us, um, what does this time of year bring um, to me? Well, hopefully my status in the United States Postal Service stays neutral. I'll take that. Hopefully I have a job. Um, if I have a job this Christmas, it will be the first Christmas in technically two years in two years, so Christmas number three, uh, that I will have a job. The past two Christmases, I did not have a job, and it's very depressing. I think Christmas week, uh, Christmas day, Christmas eve, Christmas day, e after, 
uh, is probably the most depressing time to not have a job. I mean, yes, it's 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 you know fun, quote unquote, having a day off um, besides Christmas. <sighs> Excuse me, epic yawn. Um, but I'd really much like to have a job this Christmas, which is weird because the Postal Service does not run on Sunday, and of course we don't work on Christmas, and Christmas is on a Tuesday this year, uh, yeah, Tuesday this year, so we're off on Sunday, work our asses off on Monday, and then we're off Tuesday. That's gonna suck. Last year, the last Christmas was awesome because it was on a Monday, uh, so you have Sunday and Monday off, but of course the year four when Christmas falls on a Sunday federal holiday jurisdiction says that okay if Christmas or a holiday of any kind 4th of July whatever falls on a Sunday the country celebrates it on a Monday so those of you that have government jobs or so on that have a Monday off or whatever a holiday off you would have Sunday and Monday off Unfortunately, where I used to work, Best Buy, which is retail, retail does not follow those politics. So you would work the following Monday, uh, or the, the following day, but you'd be paid basically double time and a half. But anyway, um, this video has gone on longer than it should have. Um, fall is upon us. Um, expect more astrophotography photographs. In the summertime, it's a little bit difficult to get pictures because I'm busy. But also, the summer does not yield as many viewing opportunities. Yes, the moon is out there, but I've already photographed the moon. I hope to get more, um, oh, excuse me, more Orion Nebula photos. Um, I hope to get, I wish I, I could have gotten Mars, but unfortunately, Mars is the closest neighbor to our, us, or Earth. But it's also so small that my telescope, as great as it is, as a amateur scope, not a beginner, but an amateur scope, it just can't pick up Mars that great. Jupiter, it's good at. Saturn, it's good at. The Sun, um, you know, obviously, and the Moon. But Mars is one of those planets where it, it's smaller than Earth. I mean, it's next. It's our next door neighbor. But even with my best, uh, one hundred dollar eyepiece when looking through the telescope that's one thing but when i hook up my camera it can only get so much so anyway fall should be very interesting hopefully again i keep my job uh i've paid off 50 percent of my bills um 50 more to go as soon as they're done with honestly i don't care what happens uh but i'm trying to get my own place so again we'll see what comes about but this is bsg trek fan 88 hoping to see you in the future. If you have any ideas about videos you want me to film, please message me, comment, whatever. I have my Jeep, which is currently running, but I want to do some things to it. If you own a Jeep YJ, i.e. a Jeep Wrangler from 1988 to 1995, and you have any questions or comments, let me know. Have a good night.